Let's see what it lands on. Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. Give us the lesson that we should learn. <laughs> Are you even old enough to know that reference, Teal? <laughs> um, no. Never for some reason, I can't see your stream anymore. What? It's never it's mind my sugar. Two blocks or doing sugar. this number. Sounds like a skill issue. And that was, was the first time it burned when I peed. I was told I needed to introduce my dog when he comes up. This is Hugo, everyone. Say hi, Hugo. <laughs> Hugo has a medical condition oh. called fat. He's fat. Ooh. Good boy. He's a big boy. My dog. He wants to be a part of this reaction. Out of me, my room, apparently. So. Yeah, but you also have adorable, fat, cute little dogs. My dogs are downstairs right now because Knox is chilling. Knox and Rain are both chilling. Yo. But... Yeah. Welcome back, as you guys saw with the wheel. This is Nevermind by Suga. Is it Suga or is it Sugar? Sugar. Sugar. Like a shooting yeah. guard. That's why I was like, Ish. Shooter. Like, <laughs> like Sh Shug Knight. I mean, uh, you should see the size of my waist. I, I enjoy sugar. Sugar, sugar, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that. But it's not like sugar, it's like shooting guard. See. No, so my wife's grandmother before she passed away, we actually had the video of it. She, um, her her dementia was kind of taken over, and she wasn't like all mm -hmm. there. I, I think it was dementia. I don't know what it was. She wasn't all there. But every time she'd watch BTS, she would ask about sugar, and that was like the one thing that got her back to center. And we had the video, and actually one of the reactions that it was my missus. She was like, "Is he sugar? Cause he likes the sweets." And it was the most adorable shit <laughs> you ever seen. Is like eighty nine year old woman, cause he likes the sweets, and she starts laughing. That's <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Well, you all ready to jump into this? Yep. Yes. All right. Here we go. <coughs> oh, hold on. Time out. Did you say that this was a fan made video? Like, explain that whole thing? Oh, shit. This is a fan made music video. Hold up. There we go. And all credits will be given to yes. Bang Tan FM TV two years That's ago. That's a family of medium tactical vehicles in the Army. Well, it's a fan-made visualizer <laughs> this time. Okay. All right. And they don't own any footage and music in this video, and neither do I. All right. Let's so go check our, it out. I just want to make sure we faces. do the, the shameless plug. Yeah, right, I right. own this face, man. I don't want to trade it in. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Shep Grade. Same. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm a poker dialer chief. To wait a dual bottom of she. On a sinan and catch a gadget, I need to trick. On a jungle song, go with us. Jesus, a lot of people. Sangaki and a moon. Could I see none in other commons or girls? So Jimmy Bond and Trotter could go Namago to a new. The last in Karakon could they be a chokum cutting Kiva to night? They be a chokum songs to catch a sea and I'm Satong and Sia. So I'll sit as a boat. I could some gas. One time out. Did you see the fuel can? Yeah, yep. that was, that was the an army issue fuel sure. can. Yep. Jerry I'm pretty sure that wasn't stored 500 feet away from any vehicles or buildings on top of a, f a fire retardant pallet Actually, with a co-located fire extinguisher. I don't see three handles. That might be a, one of the water jugs, mm, the one handle right. one. Mm, For so those of y'all that don't know about jerry cans, three handles, that's as many, is uh, fuel and one handle is water. I held hey, up two name, fingers. What's the name of the spout that they screw onto those to, to pour them in vehicles? I Donkey can't Day. remember. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think I don't think people in the video are ready for that that so, conversation. Yeah. Like so, after seven seconds, yeah. we're allowed to drop the f bomb and use any oh. obscurities that we're allowed or that we can oh. according to YouTube's I'm, new monetization schedule. You know, <sighs> I'm not gonna say anything um, about what it's called. It happens to be okay. It's it's. I already said donkey dick. So, oh, fair enough. Okay, yeah. Then, yeah, we're good. Donkey Kong schlong, but you know, <laughs> yeah. That's you should see the look on young lieutenants' faces when you're like, hey, go grab any. We just use it. Like, it, that's yeah. the easiest way to, to explain what it is. And I'm, I'm not going to say a fuel downspout utilized for refueling my Humvees. No, yeah, it's just too much time. Hey, go get the, <laughs> yeah, go get this. And like the first time some young lieutenant hears it, they're like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah what? We were talking about it in class. They were like, oh, yeah, go grab the elongated freaking <laughs> fuel tube. And I'm like, oh, a donkey dick? He's like, Yes, but don't talk about you know, it in class. Just, <laughs> don't, don't say that. We're not allowed to say that. Right. But all right, here we go. 
God, and my camera just turned off. All right, here we go. Technical difficulties. Hugo refuses go. to not be in this video, so <laughs> he's here. He keeps I'm coming here back. Hugo's, Hugo's going to tell us his opinion. Yeah, he will. Please, he. This is a little bit different than what we've seen from him. This is a uh... A lot of what we see is like super aggressive and like while there's an uh, aggressiveness to this, um, a lot of it is is more like um, Fort Minor has done songs like this. Not where you yeah. it's the only one that popping into my head, but I, you know, it sounds like, like it. Yeah. Look back on his past and kind of reflect on things and um, come at things with a little bit more emotion. I think we've seen stuff like this from like Eminem mm -hmm. um, with a look his significantly more aggressive. But I I like it. It's it got a good beat to it. It's um, it's got a good message. It, it conveys, um, I guess, his emotion behind it. I mean, don't let me be the only one here talking, guys. No, yeah, you're no, good. So, like, look at the blood on the stairs and his bloody lip. Oof. I, I was gonna that's say, um, I was gonna say that I see. It, I'm. I don't know if you guys see it as well, but there's a lot of uh, reoccurring themes in this, and like a lot of it's like talking about people who uh, were like naysayers. You know, like this. In this one, he's talking about like, how do you think I'm doing now? And there's a lot of other videos that we've seen uh, from these guys that were talking about, like, people telling them they weren't going to make it and stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. um, we've, we've seen that a few times. I just I wanted to comment yeah. that we've never really seen this approach, that this is yeah, a little yeah. bit more. And I think that's because this one is, is more looking at self-reflection and it's not necessarily saying like, you know, screw all you haters. You know, I'm going to do it anyways. This is more of like a I went through this path, this growth. Um, as an individual. And now it's it's who I am. You know, I try to tell people that I'm still myself. And I haven't changed that much, but you know, I am what I become. So I, I think that's at least what I'm getting out of it. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, here we all go. Right. I put it back like ten seconds, so we can get that's back fine. in the flow. It's all good. I'm jamming. <laughs> So it seems like he he's talking about he's like, oh look, I'm gonna give up. And he's like, never mind. Like there's too much shit that I can't control with it, so I'm not stopping for nothing. Yeah, the yeah. beginning seemed like a transformation. Now this seems more like motivation. Like no matter yeah. what hits you, just keep going. And it's oh, yeah. it's interesting um, that he chose the word never mind rather than anything else, any other synonyms, any other euphemisms or, or anything else in the English language that he chose the word never mind. I think it's it's interesting. I don't know exactly what that means at this point, but I like it. I like th that choice there fits really well with the whole feeling of this. Yep. And I, like even this, like, what do you want to call it? A sentence right here it says there are mm -hmm. many things in the world you can't help. Like, boom. Don't yeah. Up. Well, he he also used a couple of analogies that I did like in his lyrics. One, you know, moss never grows on a rock that doesn't get overturned, or something along those yeah, lines. Yeah. yeah. You know, That's showing great. that you you gotta you gotta move to to get better or to change, right? And then the other one was, you know, even if you're gonna crash, accelerate all the way to the end. Meaning, like, even if you think you're gonna fail, give it everything you got. So I, that's I, I that's at least what I got out of that. Somebody in the comments might be like, oh, that's not what he was going for at all. But I those are both motivational things to me. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we've said it before, like it, everyone's going to get something different out of everything. Uh, yeah. We can we can watch the same movie and get two different things out of it. Same thing with music. Um, I'm trying my best to listen, but Hugo is being super playful right now. <laughs> He's like nibbling at my neck. He's like, biting my hands. He's giving me all kinds of kisses, trying to hit my headphones off my head. You guys, we're busy right now, bud. 
Hugo, we got work. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. So I tell my Just dogs, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go to work. And they'll run upstairs, get into my computer room. And I have this big uh, round chair in here. They just jump right on it and they just look at me. Before Hobbs went blind and pretty much deaf, my wife used to take him every day when she was a dog groomer still. And she'd be like, oh, we're going. Are, are you ready to start working? And he would like yell and scream and run towards the door. He'd lose his damn mind. He loved working. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, here we go. Never mind. Yeah, I think I would agree that it's definitely a when think you're about to give up, don't quit. Yeah, I, I think that. uh yeah, I think um one. for me the whole vibe of that song is like something like we're we're about to go kind of down a sad rabbit hole a little bit here, but that's mm -hmm. like something like I would kind of chill out to when I'm reflecting on some of the terrible things that I've experienced in my military mm -hmm. career, you know, having like a cold beer somewhere, maybe on a dock or, or just, you know, sitting in my back porch or something like that. Just reflecting. That's something I could, I could kind of just chill and jam to and, and reflect not necessarily in a negative way. I'm not going to be like bawling my eyes out, but um, it's a, it's a good reflecting song. I like that. Actually, it's got a good beat. It's got a good um, lyrics to it. Uh, good, vibe we'll go with that a good feel yeah it was, uh i was gonna say I've, I've done that before uh there have been nights where like i'll i'll start a fire on my back porch just throw in the headphones have a couple beers which i don't really drink anymore but um i mean i'll probably have a couple beers and do it again but just sitting outside listening to music that's kind of therapeutic sometimes just mm -hmm. watching a fire oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. Let's see. I know one time Teal he got a three star hotel instead of a five. My goodness, was, are you okay? I, mean, I don't know if he's gonna make it. I uh, PTSD, okay? PTSD. <laughs> 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 oh man, <laughs> oh, that's uh, funny. Just like whenever I stayed at HLC's house, hazardous duty pay. Dude, yeah. you probably got a pay jump, didn't you? Oh, yeah, he might have. I went up a whole 50 bucks that day. <laughs> I'm in an danger and yep, he just yep. sat there all night like shivering in the blankets with a shoe. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, there's no ceiling fan. No, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what a shit. All right, all right, all right. It's a no, it's a good song. I actually like it. Um it, it I don't know if it'll make it onto my primary playlist, but mm. it'll probably make it onto one of my playlists. Ray J Hope does the the course. J Hope does the course. Oh yeah, in okay. RM. There's RM. Shit. Okay. I didn't so notice that. Together. I didn't actually notice it either. Shit. Well, you know yeah. what? That was a fan made video. So if it was the real video, we probably would have been able to see it. Correct. Um, yep. If there even is a real video for it, so I'm sure they don't have to have a music video for every song they ever make. That'd be right. just yeah. probably way too much. See well, and then for us, you know, especially with your wheel and your list um, and the suggestions we get from the comment section, um, we're going to definitely run into things that don't have music videos. So mm -hmm. uh, it's OK. I'm OK with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We do this one. It's a live. You do what? It's a very short yeah. video. Two minutes. Yeah. That song was short. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right, here, here's the live version. I will do it. Remember back when those used to be lighters? Right. No cell phones. phones. <laughs> you don't know cell phones. They'd probably Thank throw you, you out if you used a lighter now. <sighs> He's back. <laughs> Sachoki 
I think what they did there with the performance was kind of symbolic, everyone coming together at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, so I think the meaning of the song, like, so at the beginning, he's talking about puberty and how hard it is for males. It's like, oh, if you're not at this standard, you're either above it or below it. Like, yeah, someday yeah. I'll have to go through puberty. Right, right. Yeah, one day. He's not today. Hair, late, but I call myself, yeah, late bloomer. <laughs> That's uh, thirty-two years old. I hit male, oh male pattern baldness before I hit puberty. It's just, it's just, it's just, That's why we uh, call him a boomer. No, I'm just I, I knew my hairstyle is clear. Okay, <laughs> just if I'm wearing a hat, they card me at the liquor store. Second, I take it off, they're like, "You're good." <laughs> when it came to genetics and it came to the hair, uh, his genetics said, never mind. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, okay, you better end the video because I'm driving over to Reaper's house and I'm going to beat his ass. <laughs> okay, well, hope you all enjoyed this reaction. Catch us next Sunday for the next one. And as always, we have Rotten Reaper and Habitual Line Crosser. And they will be tagged down and in the description Hugo. below. And Hugo and Lily. Hugo Daphne was here for the most part. Oh, should I do a pose? Knox Is that and Knox? Oh yeah. Raina He's downstairs. And freaking Hobbs. <laughs> Got all yeah. the dogs. That's what we need to do on the next one is just everyone get their dogs, put them in their lap, and then just have them do it. Bro, <laughs> right. I have three dogs, all of which second. do not like being that close to each other. <laughs> well, you have to flip a coin. <laughs> I mean, we Hobbs probably doesn't want to be involved in anything, so it'd no. really just be between Knox and Rain. I vote Rain. <laughs> I vote Rain. She's you the cutest dog. Friend. Yeah, she's the cutest dog that's ever existed. She Next is to so Hugo. Soft, Hi. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's a lot smaller than she looks on camera, isn't she? Yeah. 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 The first time I met her, I was like, "That's half of it. Where's the rest?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. See you.